testimony of if God is for you, who can be against you? Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing. Uh, we're back with another episode of Quick Hits. Quick Hits comes at you twice a day, every day, uh, just eight to ten minutes a day, twice a day to keep you up to date on the latest boxing news and rumors. Um, also, please subscribe to our other channel on YouTube, Texas Boxing Scene, which is completely dedicated to Texas boxing. All right. Um, I didn't get no proceeds from that channel. Little Autism Research and Recovery, so it's very near and dear to our heart. All right. I didn't get into this yesterday. So I definitely want to get into it right now. Um, Ugas is going to replace Errol Spence uh, in the Pacquiao fight. August 21st, Las Vegas, the T-Mobile Arena. Um, a couple of thoughts on this. First, I, I want to address the Errol Spence thing. Um, guys, this is serious. A, 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 a uh, torn retina, to test retina is a serious thing. Um, it says the recovery, I, I've done some research into it. Um, the recovery time is about two to four weeks, but the problem with it is that it's likely to become detached again. Like one of the leading causes of a detached retina is a previously detached retina. Like it's I'm not trying to be negative here, but this could be a reoccurring injury that can shorten people's career. Like he will be fine. But you can kind of patch it up. You can't really fix it. Um, Spence says he wants to be back to fight the winner. He, he might be able to do that. Uh, I, I'm just saying I'm putting it out there, not trying to be negative. You know, I, I pray that everything heals Spence and this miracle performed on his eye and it's as good as new and it's never an issue again. Um, what I would say is Pacquiao can certainly be back to fight the winner. Okay, again, it only takes a few weeks to heal, but it is a reoccurring thing. Um, Spence said he'd been to three doctors. They all said the same thing. So it, this is obviously what it is. Um, so best prayers and wishes to Spence. I'm just saying this could be something that shortens his career, unfortunately. Now, as far as Ugas filling in for Pacquiao, uh, for a late replacement, for a replacement on 10 days' notice, I mean, this is really as good as it gets. Uh, these two kind of needed to fight. Um, Ugas was WBA a regular champion. Pacquiao was WBA a super champion. They stripped it from him after a year and a half of inactivity back in January and, and elevated Ugas from regular champion to, you know, world super champion. Uh, then Pacquiao like, well, I want to be back. Is it my belt? And then is like, uh, no, well, maybe, kind of. Well, we don't really know. Um, so I feel like these two had to fight anyway. Um, just like Pacquiao had to fight Thurman, right? Because it's not that much different to what happened when Pacquiao fought Thurman. Um, what I would say is, if you guys are counting Ugas out, you're serving, you're, you're doing a great injustice. Ugas has a for real, for real chance in this fight. Um, I've always wanted to see how Pacquiao would do when someone sustained an attack to his body. Spence could do that, but Spence is out. And don't get me wrong, I would pick Spence. I'm not necessarily picking Ugas to win this fight, right? So I understand there's a big difference between Ugas and Spence, and Spence would handle, handle, handily beat Ugas. Um, but I, I think this is an interesting fight, and I think Ugas has a chance. I think he's being overlooked. I think Ugas has always been overlooked. I thought he beat Sean Porter, who I think the world of, right? Um, he beat Abel Ramos. He beat Brandon Figueroa. He beat Ray Robinson. He's beat Thomas Loma. He's got really good wins. And the one time he did take that massive step up, he got a 50-50 fight that went the other way, I'll call it. Um, but Porter can win. I mean, uh, Ugas can win this fight. He needs to keep the hands going. He's got to uh, stay in the South Pole stands. I know he likes to switch a little bit ambidextrous or whatever. Um, and just dig that body. Don't show up. Don't let Pacquiao take this on points. Um, because I, I think just who's the bigger hitter, this is pretty even. Uh, where Pacquiao is, is the angles and the speed and the punch output. Don't let him win rounds on punch output. Slow him down. 
break down his body, kind of manhandle him a little bit if you can. You know, push him around, make it a tussle, make it a scrap. I think Ugas has a very good chance. I think he's a very clear path to victory. Now, he's a premium underdog as well as he should be. He should not be the favorite in this fight, given what Pacquiao just did against Keith Thurman. That fight with Keith Thurman's over two years ago. He hasn't fought since. Um, I, I don't know, you know, like Hopkins looked great, and then he took a bunch of time off, fought Joe Smith, and got annihilated. I'm not saying that's going to happen to Pacquiao, but at 42, it's a possibility that that, that could happen. Um, I, I like Ugas' shot. I like Ugas. I like his chances to win in this fight. Anyone who's saying this is a one-sided fight is wrong. Um, Ugas can beat people at this one, the top guys in this weight class. He just needs to execute the plan perfectly, stick to it, and find a perfect fight. He can do it, uh, but it's going to be tough. Um, he can't fall behind because he doesn't have the, the one-punch power that Thurman had, and Thurman couldn't get him out. He needs to stay in the fight. He needs to stay busy. He needs to break down the body. He needs to jab with him. He needs to time Pacquiao, which he can do these things. He just needs to execute to perfection. He needs to fight the perfect fight. If he does, I think he can win this fight. I, I don't think Ugas is out of his league or anything like that. Uh, being said, uh, Pacquiao's got more wiggle room. He's got more room for error um, because of his explosiveness, because of his speed and, and footwork um, and, and the way he throws his punches. You know, he, he can always hurt you. And, uh, you know, Chris Algieri told me it's not that his punches are like uh, really thudding, powerful shots. I'm talking about Pacquiao. They're more like daggers and being like having knives thrown at you, like you know, um, and they just keep coming at you from angle after angle. Um, you know, Ugas has got to counter him. He's got to roll with the shots, and he, and he just can't let Pacquiao. He's got to get off first time too, right? Like he's got to get. He's got to be first and last, as Teddy Atlas would say. Uh, don't. Every time Pacquiao throws those combinations, make him pay. Don't let him get away with it, right? Don't let him just throw up those shots and shell up uh, Josh Clotty. Don't do that. You, it, was, it was kind of my fear, which Spence has a habit of doing. Now, I do think Spence would beat Pacquiao, but um, this is an interesting fight. This is a fun fight. Um, Ugas has a real shot. Um, it, as far as a replacement goes, it's as good as you can get on a, on 10-day notice. Um, Ugas is a top five, six, well to wait. Um, with a legitimate chance to win, and we're going to settle who really is the WBA champion. We're going to get that settled today, uh, on, on on next Saturday. Um, let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Um, please like and subscribe, share on all forms of social media. Also follow our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery. Um, it's very near and dear to our heart, so even if you don't live in Texas or like Texas, or it goes to a very good cause. Um, from Texas, oh, it is August 11th, 2021. Ivan Calderon is still not in the Boxing Hall of Fame. Let's make that chance. Let's get the Iron Boy in. Uh, from Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.